morning, friends. It's Tracy and Violet and Boris from Nova Scotia Living. It's Friday morning. I still can't find my freaking hat. I swear to goodness. A ghost took it. I can't find it. And I've had it for years. And it's driving me crazy. And I don't want to wear any other hat. And I can't find it. Oh, there's my sparks. In this little bush right here. I already put your food out there, sisters. I see some seeds left. Anyways, Misha... Oh, Timothy! He just ran up beside me. Uh, Misha Mays don't have school today, like elementary school's out, but the high school kids still have it. So, I'm just waiting. They're waiting in the porch because it's cold. It is cold, but it's not that cold. Um, but, oh, there he is. Oh, there he is. He's chirping at us. Anyways, yeah, I got up around 7, a little later than usual. Took these guys for a walk. Maze was up when I got up. I'm like, what the heck are you doing up? You usually have to drag them out of bed. Oh, <laughs> that lady was just going into Saritha's. Heard me talking to my phone. I didn't even realize she was there. Anyways. Yeah, after this, it's March break all week, which is exciting. Exciting. Oh, he went over to the, one of those trees. So, yeah, anyways, we're going to have to make a fire in the kitchen because it's chilly out now. If not, not, turn around and blast one right in her face. <laughs> <laughs> All right, have a good day at school's eye. I love ya. Put a smile on that mug. Oh. Oh, for heaven's sakes. You're really making a difference, aren't you? I have not checked back in a while. Got a fire going. I'm going to heat Maze up some pulled pork for lunch. Well, it's only almost 11 o'clock, but he's hungry. But my husband got these at the grocery store yesterday. Beef brisket portions. Um, regular $21.49. It's $22.02 a kg, but it was 50% off. Still expensive, but it's a deal. We don't get deals like this very often anymore. This one was $20.92. So I'm going to do a roast beef dinner. I still got the slow cooker out from yesterday. I might just throw it in the slow cooker and put it on high. And I have pots out for potatoes and carrots. And do a roast beef dinner. So I'm going to get these in the slow cooker now. All right, there's the two roast beefs, good size, you know, good brisket, whatever. I had some onion and a baggie from that salad yesterday. Threw that in there, just Montreal steak spice and a splash of water. I'm going to let it go. It's 11.04. I'm going to put it on high and let it go till supper. All right, guys, you're a little cockeyed. Somebody bust in the chops or something. There. Oh, that fire feels good. The dishwasher's going. Slow cooker's going. Um, might do a load of laundry after. There's stuff in there now, but it's not a full load. So. I'm just going to peel a pot of spuds, do up that other, like, half a bag of carrots that I... I made potatoes and carrots the other day when I had made that pork dinner. This is pretty much going to be the same thing. I, op I might open a can of vegetables to go along with it, too and make a nice roast beef dinner for the kickoff to March break. And we haven't had a roast beef dinner and gosh, I don't know how long. So it'll be nice, I'll make a gravy. I'm just doing it in the slow cooker, but um, I can just make the gravy out of the drippings. Hopefully there's enough time to cook that, it should be. I'm not gonna cook the potatoes up now like um, TV dinners, I'll wait till o'clock three o'clock turn them on 
but I want to get this all prepared and get my table wiped off and all that stuff so all I have to do is turn stuff on and then it's just all a matter of like 20 minutes of work later on this afternoon to get the food on the plates and then the quick clean up because the dishwasher will be empty because I'm doing those dishes now. Easy. I only had, I think, a math test today, but they're excited for March break. What do you guys call it in your area? Is it March break or spring break? I mean, it's not officially spring yet. Or do you get both? These guys don't, but March break. Those are little ones. Anyways, I just finished a book this morning. I'm going to start um, the one I just finished. It's called Fox Glow. Fox Glow. I'll put a picture of it here. It was like a gentle... Uh, it's not really... A, uh, I thought it was a cult book about a cult, but it's more of a like a commune of a little girl and the life there and stuff. Um, not all the greatest, but not like what I thought it was going to be. Like, I thought it was going to be horrendous, but, I mean, it was in its own way, but it was in a quiet way. I don't know how to explain it. Anyways, I'm done that. I'm going to start the guest list by Lucy Foley. Um, Medea's just about done that, and I had it. I have it, and I've had it for years, but it's one of those books that people either love it or hate it. So, I'm just, it's not a very long book. It's only, I don't know, maybe 300 pages or something. It's a thriller, like, I think murder mystery. I think it's about people go to this island for a wedding and somebody ends up dying and you don't know who it is and you gotta figure it out so I might start that later this month I'm doing all like thrillers and horrors so well except for one uh, there's a book that's being released March 26 I can't friggin wait I ordered pre-ordered the ebook I much prefer paper books, paperback books if possible, but um, I can't pre-order the paperback book. You can only do it in the States, I guess. So I could pre-order the ebook. So that drops uh, March 26th, and I'm dropping whatever the heck I have going and reading that. It's a Cressley Cole book. She's like my OG author. I've read for years. It's like book 20 in a series, but you don't have to necessarily read the series in order, but they're all kind of companion, you know. Anyways, that's more of a paranormal romance, so besides that, I'm reading all horrors and thrillers. I think that book's called The Witch Queen of Halloween or something. Oh, it's 11-11. And... I am going to take that day off. I don't know what day of the week that is, but I will take that day off, baby, because it's one of those anticipated reads. It's like if you're waiting for an anticipated movie that you've been dying for it to come out and, or music album or something, this is like that. And as soon as I can get the paperback I will oh my arm it's tired now I don't need to go bananas with these potatoes these has hockey tomorrow and I think he has a game on Sunday so we'll be at the rink Saturday and Sunday and then it's like they don't have school all next week which is nice Misha has an eye appointment she's gonna get her eyes checked for the first time ever she might need glasses maybe and other than that oh I got a vet call like a message Violet and Laura are up for their vaccines next month I need to call them back to make an appointment I don't know when next month but I'll schedule it on a payday you know what I mean and 
get them done. Like I always get the Lyme disease one and whatever, I forget whatever they are, They the ones they suggest. It's expensive, but you know. That's part of owning a pet, taking care of them. I need to get their flea medication too, because the last time they had it was in Mar uh, the beginning of January. So they could go for that. I might actually get that before their appointment because um, it's starting to warm up and I do not want fleas or ticks in on them or in the house or luckily they never have had it. But I mean, they occasionally get a tick, but I usually get it off before. But once they have their medication, it's good. But again, expansive. Oh my goodness, I've seen on the people that I got Boris from, the kennel. Like, Boris' mom just had more babies. <laughs> she had 10 puppies. I'm like, oh no, I'm not, I'm not, I am not, but if I could, I would. But I have, maybe when I don't, like when I'm an empty nester, I'll have three or four dogs, but two is good for me now. Two is good for me now. Two is good for me now. So, anyways, it's nice to see the little pictures and stuff. And they're all the same color as Boris, like that apricot. Well, he was much more apricot when he was a puppy. He's lightened up a bit. He's not as white as violet, but... They all look like how he looked. I'm just like, oh. Oh, isn't that sweet? Isn't that special? A little more. I'll do this up and I'm gonna do the carrots up. I will rinse them, put them in cold water and just set them on the stove. We'll have the fire going today. I suppose I could just put them on the wood stove earlier. It would take longer to cook, but it wouldn't take electricity. We'll see. We'll see. There, the dishwasher's done. Okay, one more. So a big one in here. There's not any great big ones in here. There's not a whole lot of carrots, but I'll cook those up. And I think I got peas or beans or might have a corn, something. I'll see if I have any pickles. Mustard pickles go really good with a roast beef dinner. Don't think I have any of those. I haven't made any of those in a couple of years. Who knows? Maybe this will be the year. I get back into canning and picking. Maybe. All right. There's that. peel this and then I'll fast paste it when I go to cut them up because it's loud that cutting on that plastic board it's like slap 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 and we'll need to get some more hopefully they're still on sale or another sale somewhere my kids like carrots. My plants that I played with the other day seem to be doing, doing good. They're standing up nice. They, they're looking healthy. I'm waiting for that curvy, curly spider plant to get up higher. Um, I have one of those apps on my phone that you can take a picture of your plant and it tells you what it is and all that stuff. That one, it says it's supposed to be in complete dark. I'm like, I have a hard time believing that, but I have it on top of the piano. That's where I always had it before, but I could put it on my bookcase that's downstairs, you know, going to the steps, maybe. I don't know. One more. That's it. It's not going to be many carrots, but that's all right.
Okay. All right, I'm gonna cut these up and I will put it to music because you don't need to hurt your ears. Less boogie. this inside out just a minute even right side out I missed my hat I've had it for years and I don't know where it is it's always right where I put it but it's not there now I don't know one of those mysterious things in life I guess so I'll be on the hunt I'll be on the hunt all right Violet that's enough anyways we went for a little walk not far um, I'm just out here waiting for Mally and Mazai to get home on the bus. And then I, I just put the potato... Violet! Anastasia! Stop! I just put the potatoes and carrots on the wood stove. But they won't be done cooking by the time I get in there. Alright, here comes the bus. See how they know it at school. How was school? I missed ya! All right, here's those roasts I put in. I just cut it in half just to make sure it's done. I'm gonna cover it with foil so it can rest. And I just transitioned the pots from there to over there, potatoes and carrots. And I'm gonna make a gravy with the drippings in the slow cooker. All right, I'm just doing a slurry. This is just flour and some cold water. I'm gonna put it right in the slow cooker and leave the, leave the uh, lid off to let it, you know, do its thing. I'll stir it once in a while and it will turn into gravy. Yeah, it's just faster, but if you put on the flat roast, it was easy to go to the Yeah. All right, I did up the potatoes and the carrots and the gravy and the beef. I think I'm just going to keep it like this. It's fine. It's fine. So I've got to do up some plates. Alright friends, everybody's eating. This is the leftovers. That's my husband's plate. There's uh, not enough carrots for this one, but I have three separate whole suppers there. I kept the gravy separate in a yogurt container, so when and if somebody wants a roast beef dinner over the next couple of days, there is gravy or there's not. It's up to them. So now I'm just going to put this away and get the dishwasher going. Hey guys, it's 7.24. I just want to show you Misha's out here, busy as a bee in the kitchen. She made some deviled eggs in the process of making it. And she... Uh, I'm here. Made a cake! She's turning into her big sisters, Medea and Mally. 
Mazaya hasn't really got on the cooking kick. She does know how to cook, but not experimentally. You know what I'm saying? But, um, yeah, she wanted to make deviled eggs, and she doesn't even eat them, really. But these will be gobbled up tomorrow for sure. Good morning. We're going to hockey this morning. Okay. Mia's just carrying the stuff. Well, it smells like a rink. Yeah. All right. Three and four, Mace. Three and four. All right, got him all ready to rock. All right, got him all ready to rock. All right, have a good practice, bud. I love ya. There he goes. All right, there's Maze right there. The practice hasn't even started yet, but they're just warming up. 9.55, getting it out of the net. Dad messaged me and wanted to know if there's hockey today. I said yes. I brought in some of his treat boxes too because I had a, I think three or four of them there. Misha's with me. She brought her crossword book. She's so good at them. All right, 
I'm still here. I just messaged my husband to take out two packs of frozen chicken wings from the deep freezer and put them in the sink. I'll make those for supper tonight. Hopefully he'll get them. I get bad reception here in the rink, but if, if not, I'll just take them out when I get home. But it's, yeah, I think Dad's coming. Um, he should be here soon. He likes to come over and watch, and I'll make sure I give him his boxes that are in the back seat of the truck. Oh, Papa snuck in. I didn't even see him come. You made it. Do it, do it, do it. <laughs> That's Misha doing crosswords. <laughs> All right, they did some exercises. I think they're going to do a mock game, like a scrimmage or whatever. Maze doesn't have the pennies on. He's right over there. That's him. All right, he snuck up behind you. <laughs> He had a little bit of a cramp in his leg. He had to get oh, off just a couple good. minutes early. He's got to drink more water. Yes. Your jacket's out in the truck, maze, so you can get that on. It looks nice and sunny, but it is still a little chilly out. Did you see where I parked at? Yeah. Ooh. Yeah, it's not much warmer out here, that's for sure, with that breeze. But it sure is nice out. Yeah. Oh, yes, I seen it online. We went to the dollar store. I gotta open the door. All right, when we were at the dollar store, I see my Aunt Ethel. Gave her a big old hug, hug. Chatted with her for a bit. We parked way down here. And I have to say, we got a fantastic friggin' parking spot at the Dollarama. But we parked way the high heck down here. Oh, and there's a cart corral right there. She can push it through. We only got six cans of dog food. It came to 13 something. I had to pay $1.37 extra. But that's not bad. And there's a corral right there, Mish. But we got to put that in. I got a bag in the truck. We went in, got the dog food. We're in the PC Express pickup line for Saritha. I just called to say we're in parking spot number two. Ugh. Misha. <laughs> and um, they're on the phone with her right now. It was some sort of issue or whatever. So she said, it'll just be a couple minutes. I said, okay, okay, that's enough. <laughs> Anyways, I will be back in a little bit. And hopefully whatever the issue is, they'll get it sorted. And... Yeah, we'll go from there. Oh my god. Oh my goodness. He has X Games mode. What? I'll do a papa haul in a second. We're going to use the leftover roast beef and stuff. I just got six cans of dog food. This was the cheapest brand, the President's Choice one. That was $2.49 a can. So I used it. Woo! Don't land on my toe. Anyways, I'm going to put that stuff away. Pretty funny. Oh, all right, guys. I'm doing a papa haul. Now he's finishing heating up some stuff. Roast beef from yesterday. Oh, papa was busy baking. These little cupcakes. Uh, Papa's homemade Nova Scotia chocolate muffins. I could eat every single one of them. Some barbecue chips. Some powdered donuts. I think he took some out, which is cool because, you know, we only need so much. Some bonbon booms. Boris is right here waiting for his treat. I haven't seen these in a while. Dipsticks. Dipsticks. Dad used to call us dipsticks. Um, like the fun dip skip sticks. Fun dips. You know what fun dips are. I know what fun dips are. Um, the stick was the best part of it. Excuse me? Some licorice. 
some Skittles. Some chocolate sticks. Some butterscotch candy. Some popcorn. A couple of treats. Is this what you want, Boris? He's licking his chops. Come here. I'll give it to him in a minute. Some emergency um, muffins. Yorks. Wafer. And four cans of this Diet Pepsis. Minis. So. There you go. Where's your sister? Your wallet. And that's the Papa Hall. Alright. Here they are. They're like frozen. I'm going to open them and put them in a big silver bowl. See if they can defrost a bit. All right, I just put them in this big bowl and filled it up with hot water. I don't expect these to defrost all the way. I just want to break them apart and then I can pat them dry and put them in the air fryer. So I'll just check these in about 20 minutes, see if I can break them up a bit. All right, guys, I strained that water, but it's been about 20 minutes. They're still very frozen. Some of it's still frozen together, but some of it is not. So I took some out of here. I'm going to dab it with paper towel to make sure it's good and dry. I put a cap full of oil in each one of these and I'm gonna get them going. All right, round three. All right, the third batch is going. I have my air fryer hooked up right there because it seems to short out any other plug in my kitchen. Just rotating laundry. I have stuff in the washer, like there was more clothes I could fit in the washer than I can fit in my dryer, so a full load of Edgar takes two dryer loads to dry, uh, two separate dryer loads. <laughs> but I'm going to take these off. This is just two or three towels. And yeah, I, once I take those chicken wings out of the buckets, I just put a whole bunch of tajin, tajin, is that right, on it, shimmy them around. And they can put hot sauce on their wings after or whatever they want. And there's deviled eggs Misha made yesterday. We'll have that. And there might be a cucumber in there I'll cut up. I'm not sure. But these guys just came in from outside. They were outside with Mazaya. And yeah. Anyways, I'm tired. But I want to get these chicken wings done. My husband went to a book launching. Uh, Brenda Thompson, she has a book out. Um, she wrote another book about the poor house here in the area. There used to be one. I forget what this book is called. But I'll put it a picture of it here. Anyway, she's a local author, and um, yeah, you guys should check it out if you're interested. All right, friends, it's been like five and a half rounds. I've been using some of this, threw a bit of salt on there too, and moved it around. And we're going to have deviled eggs. I think there might be a little salad left in there maybe, but yeah, that's a lot of chicken wings. might not look like that much, but it took five times like two of these buckets five times and and the last one was just one of the buckets so yeah it's a lot oh and I just wanted to show you some of the deviled eggs Misha made yesterday all by herself so um, there were some more in a separate container but they've been eaten but we'll have these ones with supper oh my husband just got home this is the book that um, Brenda wrote she watches my videos sometimes I think um, anyways, she wrote A Wholesome Horror. It's about the poor house that was here in our county. And there's probably a link to this on Amazon. If there is, I'll put it down in my description box, um, in Slavers of the Maritimes. Um, because there is a whole history here. I'll just cover her email, but to Martin. Finally, uh, nice to finally meet you, uh, for, off of YouTube. Haha, <laughs> say hi to Tracy. Brenda J. Thompson, March 2024. And she uh, tales from the end of the old military road, also from Moose House. Oh, these are other books. A Wholesome Horror, Poor Houses of Nova Scotia, Finding Fortune, Documenting and Imagining the Life of Rose Fortune, Single Mother Survivor Guide. So, yeah, it's all about um, enslavers of 
the Maritimes. People don't think that there was slavery here in Nova Scotia or in Canada. There was. So, anyways, yeah, we got the book. My husband um, really wanted to go to the book launch, and he got the copy he wanted. Awesome. Thanks, Brenda. All right, everybody had supper. Misha's out here doing her thing, making cookies. I'm telling you, Misha's kind of taken over Mally's obsession of baking and stuff. Mally still likes to do it, but she even wrote a recipe down in this. One of you guys sent this to me a couple of years ago. It's like my other one. I'm not going to lose the page. Well, no, the page is Oh. Anyways, you can write recipes and stuff in. She wrote it down in here. And it looks amazing. They're chocolate chip oatmeal cookies. And she had to make her own brown sugar with molasses and white sugar. Because we didn't have any. So, yeah. That's my girl. Well, hey friends, I'm still up here editing. This is my third video today. I'm trying to get all the stuff off my phone because I'm going away to a hockey tournament tomorrow. But, yeah, that was a combination of two days. I didn't realize it till after. But, um, chicken wings one day, roast beef the day before. And, yeah, the kids liked it. I know food's a big thing in this house. It should be a big thing in everybody's house. But, you know, you got to eat, right? And it's nice to get some good food. Or, like, real food. Not garbage food all the time. I'm not against garbage food because, you know, we certainly enjoy that sometimes too. But some real food is good. But anyways, yeah, Misha is on a, a kick. Baking and cooking and cooking and baking. And she'll be 12 in August. Like she's only 11 and she's doing all this. Amazing. I'm very proud of her. There's those guys. Anyways. I'm going to say peace, love, and happiness today and every single day. Please like, share, and subscribe if you so choose. But if not, that's okay too. I still love you. I still want all the happiness for each and every one of you out there. I certainly do. I really, really honest and truly do. Yes, I do. So, okay, guys. With that, I'm going to say have a good night or have a good morning. And I will. See you tomorrow. Bye. Boink. Boink.